to infinity and beyond. Up, everybody. It's Roger and James here from Infinity and Beyond, presented by DizKingdom.com and DizGaming.com. In this episode, we're just going to have a little bit of a chat here about what we've currently been playing. Um, um, so, James, what are you currently playing at the moment? At the moment, I'm actually playing uh, Lego Marvel Avengers and Lego Force Awakens. I'm playing through both of them a second time. Normally with the Lego games, what I'll do is I'll play through the story mode and then I'll let it sit for a while and then I'll go back and, and start you know, playing through the free play with all the unlocks and whatnot, get the, the mini kits and stuff. So that's where I'm at. I'm that, now doing yeah. the second playthrough. That would explain why when I saw you on Discord, you said that uh, you're playing Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh man, I haven't seen that before. It must this must be an old update. I was like, so that would explain that. Um, so yeah, so Lego. So you found there's nothing new out at the minute that you you, you massive back catalogue. You wanted to go back to Lego. Yeah, actually, that's pretty <laughs> accurate. Um, I I saw that you know Marvel Heroes Omega is out on the Xbox. I played it for 20 minutes and realized I don't actually care anymore. Um, I think I might be done with the Marvel Heroes games actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I've also been playing Injustice too. That's mm. really, that's really what I've been playing. Yeah, no, I must, I've I have been so all over the place. Um, I'm I'm in a real case at this assessment. I've got way too much on all on at the same time. I'm still current. I sort of I feel like I've played. I was you know start of the week. I was kind of trying to pl plan through more of Horizon Zero Dawn. Then um, Friday onwards, the last. Two, three nights I've been playing Marvel Heroes um, on the PS4, going through the main story mode, um, leveling up. Just been trying to, sort of, you know, put in at least, you know, four or five hours into that game over the last couple of at nights. Because I really just want to kind of get get through that main story and finish it. Um, kind of so I feel like I've done that one. Um, because I, I've always found with Marvel Heroes, I'm always playing the same bit over and over and over again with different characters, but never actually getting to the end. So... I feel like, right, let's concentrate on that before Cars 3 comes out in the UK. Um, I also then picked up Snake Pass, because that was on sale on the Switch, which that was a little bit of a fun little game. Also, Gunvote Mighty Burst as well was another Switch indie title that I picked up that I've been playing. Arms, um, something I did play a little bit of, it's one of those things that I, I mean, I've just brought it, um, it's been out for a few weeks, and already it's kind of like, you can, I can tell because there's no story mode and there's nothing to it. It's drifted off. Though I, I was sat there last night watching Money in the Bank catching up with some wrestling from when I was moved house, and yeah, I ended up just chucking on WWE 220, 2017 and just playing that for an hour or so while I was sort of watching Money in the Bank on. on it was just like, yeah, I've had a really bad week of just jumping, um, just jumping around. I mean. The only good thing is, I think with the Switch, I've been because I can handle it in handheld mode. I mean, why I've been playing the indie titles a bit because I can sort of play it for an hour or so. But yeah, I've been like all over the place this week. I really need to just. I'm getting nowhere. That's the trouble. I'm getting nowhere in any of these games because I've got too much on the go at once. Yeah, and that's a problem I realized I was having as well. Uh, going back to Marvel Heroes mm -hmm. in particular, realizing this game doesn't have an ending. Mm -hmm. You know, there is, you know, a, an, an ending to the story, and then there's raids and, and stuff like that. But like all MMOs and mobile mm. games and what like that, the the entire idea is to keep you coming back. Oh, well, I leveled up Rocket Raccoon. Mm. Better start getting War Machine loaded up now. And I did all this on the PC. I literally have almost every single character at level 60 mm. on the PC. I may have dropped them immediately after they got to 60, but that's a different matter entirely. So, yeah, I'm trying to phase out a lot of these games that don't have proper endings. I, I wanted to do games where, you know, I pick up Lego Force Awakens and I play through the story and I play through, you know, the free play mode of the story and, yeah. you know, get to play with Ezra Bridger, or, you know, uh, characters that I didn't have the first time around. And then I'm done. And I can uninstall it and move on. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to be honest. I think from tonight onwards, I've got to. Mm -hmm. I need to. I need to blast out Horizon Zero Dawn over the next two weeks. Get that out, out, out the, out the. Get the story mode done um, before Cut. Because Cars Free is out. What's for me about another ten days away, and I know once that out, that'll be me then for the next couple of weeks. 
um, jumping between that and Heroes. But yeah, jumping back into wrestling last night was probably not the smartest idea to do. But it was just at the time I wanted to reenact ladder matches. Um, but it was that kind of thing. As like I said, I do need to sort of knuckle down and because there's, there's always something new. <laughs> There's always something new. And especially in this day and age with the MMOs, with the mobile games, there's always something new going on in the games you've already played. We we talked earlier about um, Disney Magic Kingdoms, of course. Yeah. It's got the Lion King event coming out, which is, of course, going yeah. to, to drag us into playing that. I have the um, excuse that I'll be at D23, so I don't have to pay too close attention to it. But I, I guarantee you, if I didn't have major events going on i'd just be kind of checking my phone every couple hours to see if those tokens had dropped but no it's it, it's that thing it's it's like so many games out there that um you know it's a bit like me with zelda where once i defeated ganon um i mean i put like 70 hours into it so it wasn't like it's a small game um because i still got uncharted 4 left to complete as well but once i completed ganon that was it for that game i've put it to, you know like people are saying you know obviously there's new season pass the new content came out, people jumping back into it and going off and finding the show. And I literally was like, no, I've put it, that's, that's probably me done now. I don't know. I, maybe the Champions Ballad, if it's got a story element to it, I might jump back into it. But it's like Horizon Zero Dawn, I've literally decided now, right, main focus only, do not do side quests, do not do um, cauldrons. I'm just doing that quarter game because it's like I need to get through it because, you know, there's a whole host of games coming out this year um, that I want to play. And you know you get little independent ones like like Snake Pass and Gun Mighty Gumbo. They were not things I was going to be pl picking up. They just happened to be there. And um, and Lloyd was talking about my, and I thought, oh, it's only eight eight quid on the Switch eShop. I'll pick it up. You know, it's like the Steam sale with the stuff. And you know, I I've done it in the past on the Steam sale where there's so many games that oh they're cheap. I'll buy that. Don't play it. PlayStation. It's like I've got so many games that I've like never played. Um, and it's so easy to do. And I know, you know, I've got Splatoon ordered. That'll be coming in two weeks. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like I need to just knuckle down and <laughs> get some of these games ticked. And and then, of course, some of these systems are even giving you games, PS Plus and Xbox games with gold. You know, it's just like, oh, yeah, you know what? You haven't been buying enough game. Here's yeah. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Have fun with that, which I will because I've never actually played that one. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm about, I was about halfway through the story mode. But um, for me, I have to keep finding the disc and it's not on install. So I will use that to install it and kind of like, there again, it's just like, there's just so much out there. Um, but it's that thing, isn't it? You can get, it can get a bit overwhelming. And this is where we've talked so many times about, you know, Injustice was one of those games that was great because it's like a few nights I completed the main story and I've done. I ticked the box. You know, yeah, there's all this other content. But it's like, no, I'm not that. You know, I mean, I just I got Uncharted 4 and Horizon Zero Dawn, probably two of the biggest PlayStation 4 games of the last year, halfway done on each. And it's like, I just kind of knuckle down, blast them out. And sometimes you could say, well, you shouldn't blast them out just to do it. But they're so big. And see, this is what I've been talking about, is when you get these big open-world games like Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I gave up on Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I was doing what you were doing, which was literally just sticking to the story. And I realized I wasn't enjoying it because I was skipping the majority of the content. And I'm sure that if I'd done side missions, I would have been more engaged. But I, I had to give up on it. And I can't play Skyrim I can't play games without direction anymore because I would much rather have that focused narrative storyline. I, I will do Uncharted because that's not uh, that's much more focused game, even uh -huh. if they did go more open world than the first three. But so, yeah, because I mean you got the new Uncharted game coming out in August, like this, this, this well the, the the pseudo expansion standalone it's, whatever. Yeah, it's like a little mini. Cut. It's only about I think about ten hours or something. So um, yeah, but it's still forty dollars. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for that one to drop because by the time I get through Uncharted Four, it's like yeah, I can wait for that one. But you know, there are so many titles coming up this this sort of fall season, and it's like I need to just use this next, you know, because two months. Because I'm thinking, I got I, I now I got Splatoon ordered, and then I've got Wario Rabbits, so Wario, and then I even for some stupid reason decided to order Pokedex because 
I'm going to be going on vacation, and I thought, oh, that's okay. I'll grab that and take that. I've never bought a Pokemon game. I well, don't why I've ordered it, but it's like, oh, it'll be fun to play. On you know, the Switch is making me play games outside of my territory a little bit because it is that's kind of thing you can just pick up and play a bit. But um, yeah, it's just there's just so much out there, and I really do need to just knuckle down and just play and get. Uh, and I think the only problem with Horizon Zero Dawn is ever since Breath of the Wild, it's always that kind of thing. It's good. It's like the only trouble is I did this part of the story mode, and I'm now like, I'm now invested in the thing. I want to know what's happened. I you know there was a big like story scene in the middle where I'm you know, and it's like yeah, I want to I want to know where the stories go. It's it's got me hooked to now that I do want to complete that story, but. Yeah, the next week I need to before Cars and Splatoon comes out, I need to crack get one of these games off my my backlog. <laughs> yeah, and I mean for myself, I'm also looking forward to the rest of the year and kind of being these are the games I want to play. And now, indirect contradiction to not wanting to do open world, I know Shadow of Mordor sequel is going to be huge on my list, but. Other than that, I'm like, well, I'm probably going to rent Battlefront 2 because I really only want to play the single-player content. Yeah. But if the multiplayer ends up grabbing me, like if there's a class that really calls out to me, a, a medic support class or something, then I'm, I will probably end up picking that up. But between those two games, I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's it for 2017 for me. This is going to be a year of going through my backlog and clearing stuff out. Yeah. I mean, I literally, like, October alone... I've got what Marvel. Uh, you've got a Marvel vs. Capcom out in, end of September. You've also got no in November, in like, like no October, November. I can think of Assassin's Creed Egypt, Mario Odyssey. I've also got Star Wars Battlefront Two, Lego um, Marvel Superheroes. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry. Lego Marvel Superheroes Two is also. Like, I mean, and I mean, I know Super Mario Odyssey is going to be. A long, I'm probably going to put um, Egypt on my Christmas list. WWE um, 2K18 is at the week before Mario. You know, I've got there's at least five games within six weeks. I mean, obviously that's the main game period of the year, but you know, there's a lot out. Um, so yeah, it's that thing as well of. I mean, and this is what they're talking about now. Of like, the summer's kind of becoming quite a good time to get a lot of these games from. You know, now we're getting releases throughout the year. You know. There, this is a time to kind of knuckle down. And it's, Marvel here is an odd one where I, I have been enjoying it and playing through and kind of um, getting through it. But it's, it's almost that thing of, well, it's been around for a while. It's going to be around for a while. I'll just jump in and out of it. Um, but, yeah, it's that thing of now with having three major games on the go at once, probably not the best, best idea. No, but that is the advantage to it is that you know, you can pick up and play pretty much any time you want, unless you want to play it on the Switch, because it does not out on the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then the Switch has given me other issues, because I'm then getting just Switch games, because that, you know, it's like last night, you know, 8 o'clock-ish, you know, picked up this thing and had a, a blast for an hour on my gum, but, but uh, because I could play it while I'm watching television, so I'm sitting there going, oh, it's so, it's, I so would have loved to have that WWE game on the Switch, because it would work perfectly for me. But I don't think it might not be happening. But no, so there we go. So this is some ramblings on some video games from us this week. Um, you can be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest from us. You can also go check us out over at thisgaming.com, thiskingdom.com, and find James over at heroiclegacy.com. And we shall see you guys soon. Later. Later.